I like that format. Just make sure that you don't go too heavy too soon. So I did, a, I combined two separate, two separate training sessions. I am all done and I worked two different training tracks combined today. Not in the entirety, but I did a persist pump workout and I condensed all the strength work and the pre-fatigue work into a 40 minute session, which is what I'm calling pump 40. So I did pump 40 to do my upper body strength work and then I put together some functional pump conditioning workouts and that was what I did for my conditioning at the end and that was about 15 to 20 minutes worth of work so all together from start to finish I got everything done today in 65 minutes which is a heck of a lot of stuff to do in 65 minutes but the strength training was definitely designed to be done in 40 minutes because it was mostly done in a timed format like every minute on the minute so it all fit within 40 minutes. The conditioning work, I definitely pushed the pace a bit, and then I threw in some, some abdominal core finisher work that really worked on some of the uh, not so commonly worked abdominal groups. Obliques, quadratus lumborum, that's like low back. That's, that's a core muscle that kind of stabilizes the trunk. And then hip flexors, I did a lot of hip flexor work at the end. So that was my session today. So I opened up my pump 40 with a pre-fatigue pump. Basically a pre-fatigue pump is taking the place of a warm-up. It's simple contractions, isolated muscle groups, just to drive a lot of blood flow to the working muscles for the training session. So since I was doing a lot of upper body push and pull, I really wanted to get the shoulder blades really warmed up. Um, so scapular work, I wanted to get the anterior delts, triceps really pumped up too. So I chose, the two movements I chose were band pull-aparts, which I did with two different grips. I did supinated grip and pronated grip, that's palms down, palms up, um, for 15 reps each grip. And then I went into something called a Bradford press. I did that seated on the ground. Bradford press is up and back, uh, over your shoulders, excuse me, over your head, to the behind the neck position, and then back over the head, back to the front of the neck position. So I did 20 reps of that at a very light weight. Everything here was super light and very intentionally light. I threw in a couple row sprints just because I, I wanted to get my heart rate up a little bit. I wanted to get some more blood flowing. I wanted to feel really warm. Um, and I even explored my shoulder position a little bit and push up and a couple different places. So that wrapped up my pre-fatigue. I did uh, two, two full sets of that. Not, didn't take too long, maybe seven minutes with uh, adding in those little row sprints. And then it was right to setting up for my EMOM. And my EMOM today, the first EMOM for strength was going to be a dip. And then the superset exercise was going to be a heavy dumbbell row. I was doing each for five reps. So five weighted dips, five heavy dumbbell rows per arm. Alternating minutes. And I did 10 minutes total, so five sets of each. This was the first intensity superset of the pump session. Intensity supersets are the ones where we're picking bigger compound movements and we're pushing load. We're trying to get maximal nervous system engagement, full body contractions, really move weight, but always be mindful of good form and as best we can range of motion. After that, I moved into the second intensity superset, but this one was more focused on volume of reps and bigger range of motion. 
So the dip in the dumbbell row were shorter range of motion. The second superset was a one and a quarter strict press, which per, per repetition is a lot of distance to travel. You gotta bring the bar up halfway, down, and then all the way back up for one rep. I did 10 reps per set. Then I did a dumbbell pullover on an incline bench, which got me just a touch more range of motion. And I did that for 15 reps on the alternating minute. Back and forth, back and forth with those two exercises for 10 minutes again, five sets of each. So 20 minutes back to back, two 10 minute EMOMs. I got 20 sets in, all of them were challenging. The first 10 minutes was heavyweight for a challenge. The second 10 minutes was moderate to lightweight with higher reps for the challenge. And that complements one another really well. Something I love in pump is that we always bring two weight training supersets back to back, one that really emphasizes something heavy and hard and intense and that way, and something that's more range of motion focused, strength balance focused. So that wrapped up the pump session, and then I moved directly into two conditioning column finishers.